So I'd like to spend just a few minutes uh, talking about how to organize your iPad. And um, to me, even if you're borrowing a set of iPads through the school to, for your students to use or you're borrowing a, an iPad for you to use, I don't think there's anything wrong in organizing it. And what I mean is, can you see these little kind of boxes that says text and a EDU documents, presentation websites. Those are all clusters of apps. And to me, I really like being able to make clusters of apps. So for instance, I'll go ahead and open that first one, text and EDU. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like two dots, two kind of radial dots down at the bottom there. That means that in this set of apps, I actually have two pages. So there's one page. I can kind of swipe over and get the other page. Okay, so these are just like things I have gathered together. So I'm going to click outside of that and show you how if you have a couple of apps that have that you want to cluster together. Um, and I chose um, one of the things I think is neat are these augmented reality um, sort of apps. So I have Elements 4D and Spacecraft 3D. So in order to bring them together into a new little cluster, what I have to do is I need to hold down on any one. And notice when I held down on Elements 4D, now I have a little X up there. Okay, and also see them wiggling, okay, that my group's wiggling. The X means, as you might imagine, I can click on that and delete it, um, which I don't want to do. Uh, or uh, also, it gets me ready to go ahead and, and merge them into one little folder. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this to start a folder. I need to go like that and take two and, and put them on top of each other. Now, notice at the top it says education. This is my opportunity, and I hit the X to clear it. I don't want to call it education. I want to call it something like augmented. So I'll just do A-U-G for now. Okay, and if that looks okay, I'm going to click outside the box and go ahead, or I guess I have it done down here. I'll click done. Okay, so it'll accept my name, hopefully. Okay, and notice they're still wiggling. Now, wiggling is like the delete sort of uh, uh, possibility. <laughs> it's in delete mode, okay? Um, now, one thing about it, if you ever delete an app, the thing is, is the beauty of it is that it, you can get it, download it back again from the cloud. It knows that you either bought it or had it. So I'm just going to stop it from wiggling. I'm going to click anywhere. Stop wiggling. Okay. I'm done editing. I'll go ahead and hit the home button. That'll stop it. Okay. <laughs> so now everything, now I have my new little cluster and it says augmented. And so um, let me go ahead and show you, uh, for instance, if you want to delete an app, what that looks like. I'm going to delete Algebra Touch. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on it and everything's going to start to wiggle and I got X's. I'm going to click the X for Algebra Touch. Okay. And it says, do you, are you sure you want to delete that? And I'll say delete. Okay. And it's gone. Okay, now I guess one last thing is, for instance, what if I want, and I'll show you this, I don't know if this, you'll need this or not, but I'm going to show that Weather Live, I want it to go clear back to the beginning of my pages in my iPad, and I want it to be under a folder called, um, called Weather. Okay, so to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on it and make it wiggle. So it's in kind of editable delete mode. And then I'm going to drag it over. Now, I don't know if you can see it along the bottom, but I've got a few pages set up here. So hang on. So I'm going to drag it to the previous page. Okay. And actually, I've dragged it two pages. So I'm clear back at the front of the page where I wanted it. And do you see that weather? That's where I wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Okay. Notice it accepted it. Okay. And it opens up. It's like, here's where I just put that. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Excuse me. And within like a group of apps, if you want to organize within the apps, you could go ahead and if I want this guy on the next page, I could hold him down. And now if I slow right to the side, I am like within my same weather apps and I am on the next page within my set of weather apps. Does that make sense? And anytime you're fine with it, let's go ahead and go with the radial dial. Okay. Or with the home button, excuse me, click the home button and you know, you've got it where you want it to be. So I clicked anywhere outside. So I hope that's helpful.